Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I have no idea why these guys will make these kind of claims or statements when they know exactly what's going on, who's who, and what's what. And I'm talking about, in this case, uh, about Erdogan, the president of Turkey. He comes and says, after he meets Putin, that he is ready to, again, uh, mediate over Ukraine-Russia conflict. Well, you don't have to say it with, you know, the Russian president next to you. You have to go and talk to the United States of America. He knows that. Why is he saying this? Is it just to call out the Ukrainians? Saying, hey, you guys uh, withdrew from our, uh, you know, trying to mediate last year in, what, April? And now it's you? Is that what it is? Because they know, they, Erdogan knows who's in charge. And it's not uh, these guys uh, that supposedly are in charge in Ukraine, uh, Zelensky and all those guys. Unfortunately, uh, the other weasel left, what's his name, uh, left. He got promoted, he's got uh, put into safety. <laughs> when this thing collapses, he's already in London with everything. That's my assessment of that. So, here we have here this article from Russia Today, Monday, the 4th of September, 2023. Turkey prepared to mediate over Ukraine conflict, Erdogan. Why do you even bother? Speaking with the Turkish president, Vladimir Putin blamed Kiev for the breakdown of the previous round of talks brokered by Ankara. Turkey is ready to once again bring Ukraine and Russia to the negotiating table. The country's president Erdogan announced on Monday. When they did that in uh, April 2022, when the Ukrainians agreed to come over there, I don't think they got the green light or the um, assurance from their masters that, yes, we will support you till the end. Go ahead. We're going to take this leap, the step. That's why they say, that's it, no more. Uh, we talked to you in um, Ankara or Istanbul, whatever they spoke in Istanbul. And that's it. We changed our mind. Boris Johnson showed up the next day and everything was killed right there so so he announced erdogan announced that it's uh, turkey is ready to once again bring ukraine and russia negotiation table tell united states of america man russian president vladimir putin meanwhile pointed the finger at kiev for the failure of previous peace efforts speaking during a meeting between the two leaders in sochi russia erdogan said that his country previously and i'm quoting hosted direct talks between the opposing sides in the conflict, end quote, escorted by TASS. He went on to stress that Ankara is, quote unquote, ready to do all within its power on the issue of an issue and act as a mediator. Call Washington. Putin, for his part, noted that while, and I'm quoting, agreements had been made with the Turkish president's mediation and draft documents agreed between the Russian and the Ukrainian delegations last spring, April, Kiev eventually sent them to the dump, end quote. Commenting on the peace initiatives that have been proposed since, the Russian head of state pointed out that none of them have been discussed with Moscow. Putin concluded by saying that Russia has never refused any mediation efforts, including those by China, African nation and Turkey. Yeah, but they have to go by whatever uh, Zelensky wants, supposedly. He's a little 10 points or something. The two presidents discussed arranged but we don't care about that one. So I'm not going to go over the history. The point is Erdogan, unfortunately, makes these statements here. Uh, there are futile uh, attempts to start something that they all know. They all know. They said it before, at least Putin said it before. It's not Zelensky and he doesn't want to talk to Zelensky because he knows you waste your time. It's like you go, for instance, for a problem. Let's say you have to a return of an item that is damaged or something or didn't fit your needs and you go back to the store you have the receipt you have the the item and you speak with a person that cannot make the decision of taking back the item and refund you the funds so you're going to speak with a person you're going to waste your time but you have to go through it sometimes you do have to before you say you know what bring me the person who can make a decision not you Pff, go you know you can't say that but then they say well the policy says that, that you have to convince me first that i should call or you know your problem necessitate the bothering the supervisor 
basically. And you can get angry and, okay, this is what it is. Or say, this is damaged, I want my money back. Here it is. Or something like that. The same here. Don't waste time with meeting Zelensky when Zelensky has to ask those guys, hey, what do I do? Well, you tell him, wait. Or you tell him this. And, uh, no. If those guys give the green light, we bypass the weasels. Go straight to the point. The, the decision-making uh, uh, authority right there. But anyway, that's nice. Sounds beautiful. Erdogan uh, looks like a Ataturk. And so on. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.